Welcome, FNews57 here. Once again, I'm on my Xbox One to bring you yet another video for Gears 5. In today's video, I will be explaining and showcasing the Island Glow Orange Weapon Skin Set. I'll show you how to get it, explain the easiest way of doing it, and showcase the weapon skins themselves. With this being said, this is now part of the new update for Gears 5 Operation 7 that just went live. And what you have to do is participate in the new PvP event. Now, I'm going to do this video a little bit differently because of the insane aggravation that I went through in order to actually get this weapon skin set. So you'll notice I already have it unlocked. What we have to do is we have to complete the Vampiric FFA or Free For All Playlist Metal Group. It's fairly straightforward, so you don't have to worry about complexity. It's just going to be a little annoying, and if anything, it's more so the glitches that were the problem. So, hopefully if you give the event a little bit of time, it won't be glitchy, or maybe you'll just have better luck doing it than I did. Unfortunately, the disconnects, um, the inability to switch lobbies, and the inability to find a lobby with players in it or with more than like three players in it was what plagued my completion of trying to get this done and uh it's taken about six hours roughly for me to actually unlock this most of the time was spent loading and reloading the game or simply waiting for a lobby or simply waiting for players to join said lobby anyways moving on what you have to do is you have to complete five matches of the vampiric ffa event that's relatively easy and straightforward doesn't matter if you win or lose doesn't even matter if there's any other players in the lobby the next one is going to be a little bit more difficult and that's the come on baby die for papa medal which is get 100 eliminations in the vampiric ffa versus event now, technically, eliminations are basically assists, and they're not tracked in the actual free-for-all playlist, so there's no way of really knowing if you got an elimination or not outside of the little pop-up on the upper right-hand corner of the game uh, screen that will say a certain point value and assist. So you have to keep track of that one just kind of off the top of your head. The last medal is What's the Matter You Hurt, which is deal 75,000 damage in the Vampiric Free For All versus event. This one is the most annoying and it's going to take you the most amount of time because of the basic statistics for actually unlocking this. Now, I'll explain those a little bit for those of you who don't know. The average game mode in versus a player from full health to dead has 600 points of health. Now, Unfortunately, that's kind of annoying because you only get 6,000 points of damage per 10 full health kills. However, in this particular game mode, we can't exactly rely on those numbers because not all of your shots are going to result in kills, and not all of your kills are necessarily going to be at full health. It's actually even possible in this game mode to land a single hit all the way up to the most I've personally seen is 118%, and that still actually wasn't enough to kill the other opponent. So, yeah, the damage is really hard to say exactly how much you're going to need in terms of eliminations, but more than likely that is going to be the last medal that you unlock, and then you're going to go ahead and get the Island Glow Orange weapon set. So what I've done here is I've recorded a few series of game clips that I'm going to show you, but it's free for all, so there's not really much to be explained there. What you'll need to do is go into multiplayer, go into versus, and while this limited time event is available right here, the Vampiric FFA event, free for all with 14 players, and you have to do damage in order to heal. Pretty cool looking, um little event symbol up there but outside of the look of it it's not really that great so you'll have to go ahead and play that in order to get the medals done you can't do this in a custom game which we really should be able to do this in a custom game or a private game but you can't so you have a limited time to get those medals done usually one week sometimes two if the coalition is feeling generous 
And once you get those medals done, you will have not only the stars, but the Island Glow Orange weapon skin set. So we'll just take a very quick look here to start off with the weapon skin. And that's what it actually looks like. Now, I'm going to transfer lobbies so you can see this better because the skins really look much, much nicer in a slightly darker environment that's a little bit less yellow or a little bit less brown. So if we go to the escape screen and then go to our customized screen, you'll be able to see the Lancer or to see that Island Glow Orange skin much nicer. So the skins don't have any animation to them but they are sort of illuminated which is nice especially on darker environment maps and they have a fair amount of detail to them putting them at uh, as long as you don't mind orange putting them at a decent looking non-animated weapon skin of course i'll showcase the weapons or all the weapons for you in a moment so let me go ahead and pull up a couple of those game clips so you can see exactly how this event works for those of you that are interested Now, as you can see in this game clip, this is one of the matches I finally made it into, and the frame rate's a little bit unstable due to some weird lag going on in the game, but you can see that there's really only five players in the lobby, which is super frustrating. So this took me quite a long time to do, but it was uh, interesting. Not the worst versus event out there, but definitely one of the ones that's more frustrating. The maps are fairly large. They're the normal 14-player maps for free-for-all. And, of course, you only have your Nasher and a grenade to start with. There are power weapons, obviously, that spawn around the map. And you can see I'm not really doing that well in the game clip. But I do get a couple pretty cool kills coming up, which is neat. I don't know why I had the exact frame rate issues that I did while doing this. But, unfortunately, those frame rate issues are something that you just really couldn't do anything about and hopefully the game is more stable later on Come on, 
So now that you've seen a few of the more uh, interesting moments that I had while working on the free-for-all event, really I can't offer too many tips other than to just try to put in damage with whatever weapon you can, whatever power weapon you're most comfortable with, or even chip damage with the Nasher just to go ahead and get that damage metal done. This event can be really annoying, especially due to, as you've seen in the recording, I was not getting the full 14 player lobby. The most I ever had was five players. And on top of that, I was having a lot of issues with the game dropping frames, much lower frame rate, even some lag periodically where it would just freeze up for a second or two. And that's after trying everything on my end, checking my internet connection, restarting my console, uh, doing a hard power cycle, all of that, because I just know there's going to be somebody in the comment section that's going to say it was on my end. So I checked with a few of my friends, and they had all experienced the same and other unique bugs with this event. It's extremely buggy. So if you don't mind the PvP or you really want the weapon skin, go ahead and go for it. But it, at the moment, it is a very big headache. Now let's go ahead and see what all of these weapon skins look like on the different weapons so we can highlight the skin and just equip to all weapons obviously we already know what the lancer looks like which it looks pretty cool and now you can see that we have all the other weapons so there's the nasher also looks pretty cool the snub uh it doesn't look bad but it's such a small weapon that you can't really get much of the detail on the bull talk looks pretty good boom shot uh, looks good. Most of the weapons look good with this this skin on him. None of them really look too terribly bad. It is an awful lot of illuminated orange though, so they kind of can look like an extremely ornately carved jack o' lantern. Um, if you don't like orange, this is definitely not the weapon skin set for you. But it does also apply to the scorcher. So it is the complete weapon set. It even doesn't look bad on the breaker mace, which is saying something because a lot of the weapon skins don't really look that good on the breaker mace. It's one of those weapons that's just really hard to get a good skin for. Same thing goes for the claw. Uh, this weapon skin set, much to my surprise, actually accents the core features of the claw like the bent rebar bent metal shielding and the chrysalis crystals that are on the bottom of the guard kind of making it look like it's actually part of the weapon skin for some other weapon so pretty cool feature on that one since there's not really that many good weapon skins in my opinion for the claw and then last but not least is our friend the torque bow which actually looks pretty good with it so overall i would say this weapon skin is very interesting for a non-animated weapon skin, but I wouldn't go as far as to say it is necessarily worth the extreme frustration that you may entertain due to the way this event is currently working and the glitches in the game. Keep in mind, this is the very first day that this playlist is available for Versus, so it may just be some bugs with the server that are hopefully fixed in the next like 24 to 48 hours. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, feel free to go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section as that greatly helps me out. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure you slap the like button and of course subscribe for more content. Until next time, my fellow Gears, stay frosty.